The most popular racket was the Astrox 88S. Um, there were 11 players using it. The second most popular racket was the Nanoflare 800. The third one was Astrox 88D. What's up everybody, this is CK, welcome to the channel and I hope you've been enjoying watching the 2021 Yonex Thailand Open World Tour 1000 event. So here I'm gonna be recapping the 56 badminton players who I saw were sporting Yonex rackets in this video and I'm gonna show the list to you right now. I'm gonna go through the list of rackets from most popular to the least one. So the most popular racket was the Astrox 88S. Um, there were 11 players using it. To Ben Lane from England, Mark Lamsfus, Jurov Kapila, Fajar Alfian, Selina Peak, and then we've got tons of Thailand players. I'm 100% gonna get the names wrong. Please let me know if I've got the names wrong and then I'm gonna try my best to correct them in the next videos. We've got Dechapol, Pravana Nukro, his partner, Sapsiri Teratana Chai, Benyapa Aimsad, who plays women's singles. She also does women's doubles. We've got Putita Supajirakul, Supanida Keitong. And then we got the final Astrox 88S player, Kinitupong Kedren. He's, he's tiny, but he plays really well with Jomko. So really good pair, good win in the first round of men's, men's doubles as well. So if you've not seen my winner's prediction video previously last week, um, I'll link it up here. All five of my predicted winners are still in the tournament, so finger, fingers crossed, let's see what they do. The second most popular racket was the Nanoflare 800. So that's a really, really good, smooth, easy to use racket. So obviously it's a favorite with the pros, with eight players using. Michelle Lee, Tom Gikel, Sung Ji Hyun, Tan Wee Kyung, we've got Lee Yang from Taiwan. We've got three Thai players, so we've got Nipit from Puang Pua Pet, Usaran Ong Bam Rum Pan, and Kun Lavut Bititsarn. Yeah, that's nine. The third one was Astrox 88D. So it's the dominate and skill version. That's the D, the dominate version. So it's six players we're using. So yeah, so you got Nicholas Noir from Denmark, Mohamed Rian Ardianto, you've got Kim Ki Jung, Vladimir Ivanov, Ivan Sozanov, and then you've got Kim So Young. So we had two rackets with five players each. The Arc Saber 11. So that's an old school model. So it's Steady, it's super accurate, it's easy to play with, easy to control and good feeling, so I, I guess that's why the pros like it. So you've got Matthias Christensen, you've got Daniel Hess, Chung Anyi from Hong Kong, you've got Gov Shen from Malaysia, and you've got Supa Jomko from Thailand. So a really good mix, really good spread, Arcsab 11, even balance, really, really good control, easy to play with. We then move on to the popular Nanoflare 700 headlight, medium whippy. A lot of these players hit really hard as well. Players like Wang Chi Lin from Taiwan, Siki Reddy, uh, MR Arjun from India, Leong Day from Korea, Kristin Tsai. But we can also include Ratchanok Intanon and Carolina Marin. They play with the Nanofest 700 Limited. Um, we can then have a also surprise and slightly older model, the Dwora Z Strike. So I'm gonna try really hard to pronounce the names. So we've got four names here. Sadwick Sairaj, Ranki Reddy. We've got Luis Enrique Penlaver from Spain. We've got Chou Tianchen from Taiwan. And Tanungpa Viriyankura from Thailand. All four of them playing with Dora Z Strike. So we then have a surprising entry with three players playing the Voltric ATE Tune. That's an old racket. So that was launched in March 2015. We have Marvin Seidel, Shirag Shetty, and then Tanong Sak, Sanzen Bunsok. All three of them using the Voltric AT, E Tune. We then go to another super head heavy, super extra stiff racket, Voltric Z Force 2. There are two players using it. One was Darren Liu, and the other one is Marcus Ellis. So I'm not sure if Darren Liu is actually sponsored by Yonex, but then he's using Z Force 2. Good win in the first round as well, so well done. The other models that two players were using, the Astrox 99, the Astrox 77, and the Astrox 100ZZ, Victor Axelson and Sean Vendy from England. The other rackets that were individual, Dora 10 Lite from Kong Hee Yong from Korea. Oh yes, that's a unique one. That's an Astrox 69, I think. And that is from An Se Young from Korea. It does look very good from the pictures. So let me know in the comments section below what Yonex rackets you play with and what do you think about the spread of the Yonex rackets that are actually on show here. Are you surprised that the pros are still using quite old models, five, six, seven year old models instead of the absolute latest ones? Let me know what you think. Something interesting is coming. Uh, make sure you, you subscribe to the channel so I'm gonna have a recap of tournament winner predictions from last week. We'll see who's, who's winning or who's won to see if I've made the right predictions. 
So hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Keep watching the tournaments. Enjoy badminton. I'm going to definitely keep watching and I'll see you in the next one.